what is intelligence? Mankind has tried to answer this question throughout history. Is it a number, the result of an IQ test, or the ability to solve difficult math problems? Why do we need to study intelligence? For example, to reproduce it and to create safe technology powered by AI systems. Here at Science of Intelligence, the cluster of excellence for intelligence research in Berlin, we have one big aim, to better understand intelligence and intelligent behavior. Our inspiration is nature. We observe humans and animals and how they act and we try to understand their natural intelligence. We then translate these principles to create intelligent machines in our labs. We train our robots, and from that, we extract new ideas. This cycle between natural and artificial intelligence is an essential key to our work. Our fish help us understand collective intelligence. For example, we investigate how guppies explore a new environment how they anticipate what others will do, and how they interact in groups to create a sort of collective brain. Inspired by natural systems like these, our researchers develop robots that are able to explore their surroundings and solve problems collectively. In order to study collective intelligence, we have these um, robotic platform called Kilobot, and these robots need to stay close together, share the information, and uh, inform each other which is similar to any other natural system like uh, school of fish, uh, swarm of bees, or flock of birds. We are analyzing social intelligence by training our humanoid robots to interact with people and their environment, teaching them to understand and respond to human emotions as well as their surroundings helps us to learn more about social behavior. What I find fascinating in the research that we do is that we use bio-inspired methods to understand knowledge we, get, um, we try to understand how the human brain is built and um, inspire ourselves to build a machine a similar way. By studying how animals and then our robots solve puzzles and tasks, we analyze individual intelligence. Our group is developing mechanical riddles, mechanical puzzles for mice, so-called log boxes. Um, in order to get a deeper understanding of their problem-solving strategies and their intelligence. It's fascinating that the mice uh, seem to enjoy working on the log boxes and therefore the log boxes may serve as cognitive enrichment for the mice, improving their well-being. We try to understand how goffin cockatoos are able to solve mechanical puzzles. To us as roboticists, it is really impressive how goffin cockatoos can solve these puzzles even though they did not evolve to solve those puzzles. And we want to give robots similar skills to generalize to new problems. A robot has to solve different mechanical sub-problems. It needs to open a door and then move a bar and then turn a wheel in order to um, fully open that mechanism. We explore intelligence from all perspectives to make the technology of the future ethically safe. And the research part is also for us ethicists to have a look at, okay, what themes are they playing here? Can we maybe contribute something to the AI ethics community? We're here to say how intelligence research should or should not look like. Intelligence is, has so many different facets that we really need to look at it from many different perspectives. So we have philosophers, um, engineers, biologists, psychologists, sociologists who all bring their disciplinary perspective, but then in the interaction um, gain interdisciplinary insights into the nature of intelligence. Here in Berlin, at the pulse of time, we are conducting unique research. And together, we are pushing the boundaries of a science of intelligence. <laughs>